Hey guys, Chad Trofgruben here. In this video, I show you how to draw with the Add Point tool. The Add Point tool is probably the most useful drawing tool in Anime Studio. In a way, it acts similar to the Pen tool in Flash. You place down points and your lines are drawn out based on those points. With the Add Point tool in Anime Studio, you can fuse points together to create filled shapes, and you can also move the points around after you put the shape down to manipulate the shape further if you wish. On top of that, you have options like changing the color of the shapes, you can modify if the lines are straight or not, and a few other options. So it's a pretty useful drawing tool, as you'll see here in a moment. So let's check it out. To begin, select the Add Point tool from your toolbar. Now, you have a few different options here to play with. The first ones are on top. You have Auto Weld, Auto Fill, and Sharp Corners. Auto Weld allows you to easily close shapes off. Let's say if you're making an enclosed shape, when you take your final point and connect it to your first point, Anime Studio will automatically weld those two points together. Auto Fill is similar in that once you auto weld or you close off your shape, the fill color that you have chosen will automatically apply to the shape. And Sharp Corners allows you to create straight lines instead of curved lines, which is the default function with this tool. So make sure you have Auto Weld and Auto Fill selected. Also, you can choose your colors on the right by choosing your fill and stroke colors, as well as your line width and brush and so on. Once you have all of your options set, come over here to the stage and just click and draw and release to draw out a line. Now, this isn't actually a line yet. It's more of a guide. It's just saying that our shape so far contains this one line, but there's nothing physically drawn out yet. But you'll notice that we have two points. And from here, we can draw from one of these two points. To do that, we just put our mouse cursor over one of the points, click and drag to put down a second point. And you'll notice as I do this, how I move this point will affect the first line. If I move it more like this, it curves up. When I move it down like this, it curves less. So that is where your straight corners or your sharp corners tool would come in. If you would check this, the next time you put down a point, you'll notice that the points are now straight, no matter what you do. So that's one thing you can do as you make your points. But anyway, I'll just keep going along here and drawing something out. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm just doing this as an example. But once you get a shape that you want, what you'll do is take your cursor as usual and click and drag to make a new point, but you'll go back to your first point or an existing point on your shape. And once you do this, you release, you'll hear that snap sound and your shape will fill in both stroke and fill colors and you'll have your shape. Now, once you have your shape down, you can select the translate points tool. What this allows you to do is if all the points are selected like they are right now, you can move the object around or you can deselect the object and click on one point at a time. So if I click on this point and just drag it around, I can manipulate my shape any way I wish. I can just click and drag these points around and choose how I want to manipulate my shape. If you need to add points, simply go back to your add point tool, come over here to your drawing and just click where you need to add the points. And then of course, at any time, you can go back to your translate points tool and then modify these new points. So it's as simple as that when it comes to modifying and adding points. 
If you ever need to change the color or any attributes of your shape, use the Select Shape tool under Fill and select your shape. And then come over here to your style and choose your different colors if you wish. Like I can choose blue instead and click OK. And I could adjust my line width if I want. I could change my brush and so on. So you can do that as well. If at any point you need to delete a point, you can click on the delete edge tool and just come over here and find a point that you no longer want and just click. Of course, that'll break your shape and you'll no longer have that fill, but you can go through and delete whatever points that you wish if you want to do that. I'll just undo that action. Finally, if you just want to draw out a line with this tool and you don't want to fill in the shape, you can do that as well. First, let's click on the Add Point tool again. And I'll just come over here on the side and just click and drag and draw out a couple of points and make a line. Now, as we know, this doesn't make a shape. However, if I just want this line to be filled in, I can click on my Paint Bucket tool. And when I click now on this line, it will apply my stroke width, color, and brush type. So if I just click here, you'll see now that it has filled in and we now have that line. So this tool is really useful. It takes a little bit to get used to at first because it's not entirely freehand. But once you get the hang of it, I think you'll find that it is very useful. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. I have more tutorials coming up, so stay tuned.